My name is Ricardo Lopez. It is January 14th, 1996. Today's my birthday. I'm 21. Now, yesterday I purchased this camera. Today I purchased the tripod. And I will begin a documentation of my life, of my art, and of my plans. Do you want to see something funny? I'm going to show you who I am. seek in speaking to you. Something with a, I don't know, something that makes me feel better. For a long time I've been speaking into the mirror and being my own psychologist, sort of, whatever. <clears throat> it's a release as many times as my art is, or would like to think that my art is. I'm not going to try to pretend I'm smart or savvy or cool. I gotta pass, even though I want to, I gotta pass that. I gotta be honest. And that's. That ain't easy, man. That ain't easy. Okay. You are a camera. I am Ricardo. We are both the same now. You are. A living part of my brain, which is simultaneously, perhaps doing a better job of it, remembering these events, which are going to unfold. I might as well begin. Both for the first time, Bjork. Yep. All her stuff. Now, as well, let me show you this. Look at this beautiful face. This cute, innocent, sweet and shy thing. Whoa. She's fucking a nigger. Can you believe that? Yes. Fucking nigger. That's unacceptable. <clears throat> but uh he said that, you know, he talked all about her, how he liked her, and you know, once he met her, you know, he couldn't, you know. Look, personally, maybe he's a nice guy, maybe he's not a nice guy, maybe he's an opportunist, but he's a fucking nigger. That's it. Okay. I don't give a shit about him. So be whose fault is that? That's right. That's her fault. And that's uh, completely unacceptable to me. And, uh... I'm just gonna have to kill her. Yeah. I've been planning it. It's the 14th today. I've been planning it uh, 
best we can have. It sounds crazy. One of the reasons I have you is to document my uh, my progression to the events. I'm going to send a package, a lightweight, business-like folder, cardboard folder, that opens up. It has different things that open up to reveal different letters, different options. You know, it's a, I'm going to pretend to be a company from New York City who deals with uh, interactive books and, and magazines and you know promotional material and and uh, like, you know pop-up books and all that, all those sorts of things okay and uh, I want to make it look like uh, you know I'm sending it to her you know because you know, she's in the music industry and you know perhaps uh, she needs it for promotional material, for, you know, inter-artist communication, or what have you, know. You know, make it look like an entrepreneur, you know, looking for, you know, his business, you know. It's going to be a legitimate looking company with a printed, uh, laser, computer laser printed, that is, <clears throat> you know, labels. And they're going to make it look uh, not unlike, if I can show you for a second, let me pause this. Not unlike this uh, interview magazine thing. If you notice the legitimacy of this, you know, they missed all those nice words. I'm going to, you know, you know, document every step of the way. Every step of the way, it will be documented. Yes, she will pay. <coughs> she killed me with that. She fucking killed on that. I mean, she was a piece of shit. I knew that fucking drunk. You know, fucking sucking dick here and doing that. You know, but with that, it was just that's it. It's all over. It's, especially now that I went into. Heavy duty, you get all the information and working on my sculpture. And now uh, I got that video processor that I was gonna have, you know, still images that way I could, you know, do a lot of my sculpture. Anything, uh, I don't know. Okay, more importantly than anything else, okay, is the, is the time that from which I will send this. Okay, remember, like I always stress. You know, there's nothing more a cop fears than a guy who has nothing to lose. Okay, if I have something to lose, uh, it's not going to be a very uh, pleasant experience to deal with the FBI. To you know, I don't want to do that. You know, I I know as much as, uh, as I try to pretend how clever I am. Okay, I can't match. I'm stupid. A lot of re a lot of ways, I'm pretty stupid. You know. I make mistakes and not that meticulous. I uh, sloppy. If you, if you take a look around my apartment, okay. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna show you what my apartment looks like now. My tape is almost up. So here's a sculpture which I'm creating of Bjork. This is the first tape that I'm showing it. I'm almost running out of tape. But, um, see, I live in a practical pigsty. Okay. Holy shit. There's that pencil I created yesterday with gelatin and everything. Whoa, that was my foot. I mean,. Look at this shit. See that? This is my apartment. I'm a pig. I'm a fucking pig. Got ketchup up there. This is my bed. My bed is leaning up against the wall. Okay. Definite pig.
But there's my infamous uh, drawing table, book, table. I want to get a shot of my, uh, it's where I keep all my, my goodies, my books, and all my shit. Me, me, to this world was Bjork. I mean, I mean, many people could say, what the hell are you talking about, man? You, you know. You don't even know this girl, you don't, you know, you're even mad at her, man, what the hell, fucking crazy, man, okay, many of those points, as you know, later on, but, uh, what I do feel for her, okay, I know, I know many people would say, you can't possibly love somebody you don't know. Love is something with time. Love is, you know what love is? Love is a chemical, okay? A biological substance in our brain which is released, okay, by the neurotransmitters, okay? It's a chemical called oxytocin. That's true love, oxytocin. And what is oxytocin? It's the binding glue, okay, that holds families together, okay? That's, okay? It's not a mystical thing. It's not a magical thing that just happens because of you know the the soul, the spirit, and all that. It's a, it's a chemical. We're machines, okay. As much as we want to fancy ourselves as you know superior to to other creatures, you know we're beyond you know our soul, spirit, you know mystical, you know we're you know we're so far beyond. We're machines, biological ones, okay. That's what we are. And machines, you know. As you, as you all well know, you know, have moving parts, have this and that, you know, you know, oils, uh, fuels. That's what we are, basically. That's it. Okay. And that's what I have. It's an attachment. Okay. It's an attachment to. Okay. There's many, many things about her that I do not approve of, and it really turns, turns my insides out like that, in, in pain. Many things, but still, you know, I still have that attachment to her. Okay, but this this thing, but that nigger, I mean, I mean that was a stab in the heart for me. Not that she owes me anything, but you know that's my greatest fear. Is that is of of you know of blacks years. Not that I fear them personally, because they're just walking bags of blood, just like the rest of us. Their skin is no thicker than any of us. See this? This is white. Okay. If I were black, it'd be the same thing. 